Don't you just hate it when this happens? Ooh, come on. Come on. That's right. Yep. Come on, five. Five, 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 five. Just stay there. Just stay there. Come on. No, no. Stay there. Stay there. Uh, well... That just cost me about 1800 bucks uh, with a uh, $150 and $150 win bet on a horse I really, really loved. was waiting for it to come back. And <clears throat> she got nailed at the wire, not by one horse, but by two horses. However, uh, <laughs> knowing that stalkers which is the subject of our most recent program. It's called Stalking the Speedy Stalkers. Knowing that stalkers win about 60% of all the races uh, in this country, I should have definitely backed her up in exactas and trifectas and maybe uh, would have at least uh, got my bet back. <laughs> but at any rate, <clears throat> the fact is that most of us think that Horses, wire-to-wire -wire horses, are very, very common winners. And speed, of course, is important. Speed is very, very important. And But there's different kinds of speed. There's front-running speed. There's pressing speed. There's speed uh, from horses that are just a little bit farther back. And those are what we call the stalkers. And this latest program that we've done, uh, will show you over and over again which horses are, I don't want to hear any more of this, <laughs> uh, will show us uh, over and over again that horses from off the pace, or just off the pace, uh, just off the pace, especially in races of six furlongs or longer, win most of the races in this country. Now, um, around nationally, about if you take all races, um, the percentage is higher. But if you take um, all races of six furlongs and more, only about 18% of all those races are won wire to wire. And most races are won from off the pace, but not from far off the pace. Uh, horses uh, within two and a half lengths of the leader at the second call win the vast majority of the races in the U.S. And these are the horses that are pace pressers or stalkers. Now, what Len has done with this program is, um, and, and, and you know, you read another interesting story on here where I had the pick six nailed at Del Mar one year and five straight and 24,000 on the line and got nailed <laughs> right at the end too. And one, one comment here, and you can probably all identify this. So isn't it funny how we horse players seem to remember the agonizing losses in big money situations rather than our actual large scores? I can still, still grip my teeth about some of the things that happened a long time ago that cost thousands and thousands of dollars. But Len now has put together a program. He's calling it Stalking, Stalking the Speedy Starters, basically meaning he's developed a program that um, looks for horses that are likely to come on late and catch the leaders, normally nearing the end of the race. Um, our research shows that 68% of all races at distance of six furlongs and longer are won by stalkers, horses that are off, now a little bit off the pace or up to two and a half, three lengths off the pace. And he's put together a program that identifies these animals, and, and it's super accurate. You get some really, really nice um, prices. Um, the horses often run into the, into the money. And basically what he's done here, he's taken turn time based on a, um, uh, based on a um, theory from Tom Brohammer in his Modern Pace Handicapping. He also forwarded Pace Makes the Race. Um, but basically, Len found that turn time was extremely important. He said he found when, he, uh, when turn time was considered along with par race times in, in the algorithm he developed, it often, very often, focused on horses that, barring trouble, would be making that stalking move coming off the far turn. And with just a little more fine-tuning, which he's done with some other elements, 
these runners would always, not always, most of these runners would at least hit the board. And then, of course, he uses jockeys because jockeys are the ones actually that are doing the stalking and the, the better jockeys. He's yeah, studied and found the jockeys that do best with the with a stalking move again normally at six furlongs and norm, norm and, and uh, longer and he found a way to match those up uh as well and in at different distances so it's pretty interesting this whole thing he put together it took him quite a while and like he says these riders these stalking riders have a feel of the shape of the race they they just have my guts no what's in front of them and they're guiding these horses having them in the right spot at the right time and also distance matters and again he tells us that the distances where wire to wire winners often prevail is between four furlongs and 5.5 furlongs and that makes perfect sense shorter distances and but as you get to six furlongs and over that changes and as he says the percentage of gate to wire winners steadily decreases as the distances increase also something that makes perfect sense now here's a fellow that told us, and again, he told us, uh, uh, you may not realize it, though you probably do, but the information in the total column alone is worth many times what you are charging. Actually, we kind of didn't realize this, <laughs> we had, but it says here you get a complete picture of how many lengths a runner gained or lost in their last few races. Over and over again, horses with big positive numbers, winner, finish, the exact, or trifecta. While those with negative numbers in that column, horses have lost lengths over the past few starts, invariably fade. So again, what this is showing you in the total column when we get to a, uh, a race here is um, the gain or, um, or loss over the past several races that the horse has ha had. Now, whether it's got a positive number here, it means overall this horse gains lengths. Got a negative number, it means overall this horse loses, um, loses ground. So a positive number mean gained overall a negative number figure shows lost links. Positive numbers often indicate stalkers. And here's the horse paid sixteen forty. Uh again, that's that's a little higher than the average price on there, which actually much higher. It's actually closer to nine or ten bucks. But still you'll get a lot of winners in the in, in this general uh price range. And um also, you'll get cards that are just amazing. Not every card, of course, will be like this. But here's a Santa Anita card with six winners. Uh, none of them were really big prices, but there are, there are a couple, several places as well. And you often get some really good place prices with this program. Because, again, their horse is often at long odds, and they're rolling late. They may not win, but they do get up into the exotics at really good prices. And we've seen so many of these horses um, uh, get into the exact the trifecta, especially the superfecta at big, big odds. Uh, here's the Churchill Downs, uh, um, Kentucky Derby Day with six wins and some nice prices, uh, 934, 1212, 1196, 12.04. And this is on a day when it's supposed to be like some of the toughest days to handicap. But on days like this, you've got riders that really know their stuff, best riders in the nation. And they're the riders that are usually best at measuring pace, uh, stalking pace, and coming on late, reserving for the for the end. And um, again, our place prices, here's a 1060. And again, you'll see this over and over. Here's a 1220, uh, 11 to one shot. Set. So we, when you're playing, and again, all the instructions are in the manual, but there are situations where you'll be playing mostly to place and show. And those are the horses that you will, you'll put more emphasis on the places. So here's a 31 to one horse, <laughs> $23 place price at um, uh, Mahoning Valley. So you will get these prices, and they can also really, really light up your exotics, your exactus, trifectas, and again, superfectas. So many of these horses drift into the superfecta at least, finish third or fourth. Uh, you also do get a lot of winners, just normal. Uh, also for exotic bets, um, we found that when there's three positive horses, in other words, all three of these horses have shown closing ability, gaining lengths. When that situation occurs, it's a pretty good idea. Sometimes there may be four, but usually not more than three. Putting those horses in an exacta trifecta. Here we got 155 exacta, 323 trifecta. So basically what this is saying is three horses here uh, are, are, have proven to be gainers at the, towards the end of the race, while none of the, while none of the others have. Um, so uh, this is a really good exotic situation, but again, you also get some really nice winners. Again, in the, a lot of winners in the $8 to $16 range. Uh, again, here's a race at uh, Santa Anita, 
and the perfect, perfect setup. And this horse just came on late. I think we ended up winning by a neck, but got got there just as the um, um, programs predicted it would. And so basically, we, if you look at the website, we've got a question and answer uh, session here uh, about a play that you can read it. But on average, 60 percent of the races will have plays. There's not a play in every race. Uh, races to avoid. Uh, what the various columns mean, what best, what the best situations to play are. And again, all this is just on the website now, but there's even more information in the manual. So basically, um, this is going to be a, this is a program you're going to see a lot, a lot of horses that you normally probably would have thrown out just because maybe you look at the past performances, look like they may be too far back uh, early on. But the, the program will p uh, point out the horses that are the strongest closers. And again, these aren't necessarily deep closers. Deep closers don't win that many races, but these are horses that are normally sitting off the pace. And while, while in, in many races, there'll be several, uh, you know, two, three, maybe more stalkers, this program has a really good idea, a really, really good way of separating them. So again, uh, rather than watch your horse runner choking near the wire, which we all see happens to us probably almost every day, with this program, you have a good chance to have the horse that passed him late. So um, it's $111, which we think is very reasonable. This took land a long, long, long time to um, figure out. So give us a call, 1-800-696-0067, or order from our website, and of course, call us if you have any questions. Thank you.